Hi, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. I haven't posted a video for a while, but I wanted everyone to know that I'm still working hard on the on three projects. Um, we're working hard on the semi cell, and uh, of course the the monster build here, the uh, 6x 59 plate cell, um, and then we're also working on a, a separator cell that. Uh, been working on actually for almost a year now with a with a partner and uh, that's coming along pretty good too um, what we have in front of you here this is the will be the cell of the semi unit and uh, those of you that uh, saw uh, my last video where we had the uh, semi semi cell in, in a, a metal box and uh, with with a PWM and and all the nice plumbing and stuff. Um, that's uh, that project's not going to happen. Um, but uh, this alternative to that, uh, I think, is going to work a lot better. It's going to be a lot cheaper for the uh, for the consumer out there, and uh, be more versatile. Um, so what I've done is we don't have a big metal box. What we have is the cell, um, the the main tank, and the auxiliary uh, tank. Um, and what this is going to allow you to do is to be able to install it on uh, on on any kind of uh, big diesel truck. Uh, um, the other unit was big and bulky, and you could only be installed in, on certain trucks. So this is going to enable you to be able to uh, fit the different components where where you have room, and be able to um, use this this technology on your on your semi. So what we have here on the cell is. It's a uh, 40, 42 plate cell. Um, it's, uh, it's a 6 and 2. And the reason why I've done that is the electrolyte that I'm going to run in this is going to be uh, 18 plus percent KOH so that it doesn't freeze in the winter. Um, I know the last cell you saw we had a heater uh, and, and a pump, and those kind of things aren't going to be needed. Um, so this is the main tank. I'll just show you the main tank here. Um, on this tank, I've got welded fittings because uh, this is kind of a thin wall tank, so there's no chance of leaking. What we have here is a uh, a float level. It's going to keep the level of the uh, electrolyte right around here. Um, you can see the welded fittings here, heavy duty fittings. Nothing's going to leak on this. On the top here, we have the HHO outfitting, and this is the uh, the auxiliary water fill fill fitting. And what we'll have here is this uh, this reservoir will stay completely sealed at all times, and you'll fill the, your uh, truck, your system with uh, distilled water in this auxiliary tank, three quart tank. Uh, what you'll do is you'll, you'll just put distilled water in here, cap it off, and it will uh, feed the main tank uh, with distilled water. So there's no need to get in here and mess with the KOH because uh, it's going to be a high concentrate. Once you once you fill it, you don't want to mess with it again. So that's going to keep it from freezing. Um, you're going to say in the winter time this tank's going to freeze. Yeah, it's going to freeze. In the winter time, what you'll do is you'll cap off this tank and you'll just fill directly from here in the winter time. Um, it's also going to have a current limiting PWM uh, to control the whole uh, system and that is going I'm going to start testing on this uh, probably next week so this is getting closer to being done. Um, it's going to be a good price point on this too I think you'll be satisfied with the price on that. The Monster 6XL the reason why this one's going so slow is because uh, I can only uh, work on it when I have the funds to do so. If you can imagine, there's a lot, lot of money going into this, just in stainless and, and materials. But what we got here is we got our, this is what we're going to do next. Got our tank there. Uh, it's two and a half gallon tank. We've got some uh, strut here that we're going to mount the tank. And then off the bottom of this, I'm going to take what I've learned from all the uh, testing of the 118 plate cell I'm going to build the plumbing to where this will flow really really smoothly um, we're going to take some big fittings 
weld them to the side. I'm going to use one inch uh, probably PVC pipe. It'll go down into a manifold and then feed all six cells. Uh, the uh, electrical setup on this, I've got the controllers, all, all the parts here for the controllers. Um, I'm going to put those together. I've got the uh, panel. I was able to purchase the panel. I'm going to use this panel here. All the electrics are going to be inside of that. And uh, we'll be working on that soon. Um, the separator cell, uh, we're still working on a, a membrane that, and we think we, ha we have the membrane actually, that will completely separate um, the hydrogen and oxygen. And we're going to get that uh, tested with a mass spectrometer once we, we, we get the cell the way we want it and make sure that the uh, hydrogen is over 99% pure. Um, so, also working on that. That one's a little bit slower project. has been working on it for a year. Um, that one's going to take a little bit, a little bit more time to get done. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to let everyone know what we're doing here at Greenfield H2O. Uh, coming along really good on three projects. Uh, semi cell will be released very soon. And next video on this build should be uh, next week. All right, guys. Uh, this is in this video. Thanks for watching.